Hi everybody, I hope you're doing well. Today is Friday and I slept in. I woke up naturally at 8.30 by myself, so that's good. Uh, I think I am regaining my routine and my health back to where it was. And part of that's because I work with the color red when I need to. So I'm focusing on this area of my dresser today. And I'm once again holding the phone so I can just focus on this area of the dresser. So this is going to be a vertical video. <laughs> now I've divided my dresser into three parts. I have Maimon on the far end because that's who I'm working with now primarily at night. But if you're not inclined to work with spirits, and I do have a couple of videos and where you are working with some other energies other than spirits, such as the energy of color, using your own will, calling upon the essences of incense and uh, powders, if you've mixed a powder, or you, you just have a couple of different herbs that you want to use, and then you've got stones, and you've got some metal. These are what items are traditionally used, I think, by people that are starting to learn how to work with energy and witchcraft, such as Wicca. And so I wanted to show you the type of setup that you could use and the things that you could use to focus on financial prosperity. Now financial prosperity can come in different forms depending on what's going on with you in your life in your astrological chart actually at the time. You could receive bonuses, gifts, favors from work if you need to just be at the work that you're in at this particular time. So this is what you would want to focus on, receiving gifts and favors, not just recognition. I have focused on getting recognition in the past, and I got a candy bar and a certificate of recognition <laughs> for going to my job every day and being on time. What you really want to focus on is financial prosperity. I am going to be talking on this a lot, probably until summer of next year. We are in a recession or going through a recession, however you want to call it. Everybody has noticed the price of things going up, including our rent. So this is a time where we have to employ our will and anything else that we can to assist us. I could never do it on my own. That's why I prayed to find a new way to live and believe spiritually. And that is when I believe I started really remembering as I came out of my depression and had a dream uh, of a life that I had lived previously as a witch. So... Now, I got this vigil candle at the Dollar Tree, and they're five-day candles. However, they can burn for six or seven days if that is what the energy wants to do. Now, you would first cleanse it. You could use soap and water. You could use Florida water. I have made some cologne with uh, rose and... sandalwood, and something else. I was trying to make a perfume, but it's actually a cologne. And so you can use that. And so as you're cleansing it, you're stating your intention. You're stating your intention to cleanse it. And then you do want to create a designated space for this particular work. Now, I'm offering Vigil Candle Services myself for just $49. And if you would like me to do one for you, just contact me at the email listed here until I can get a listing posted on my Etsy shop. 
The benefit is that this energy continues to work nonstop until the candle is completely burned out. Now, some people will leave them in their bathtub while they are at work. Assuming you've got your shower curtain pulled away and tied up and nothing else will disturb it. Otherwise, you can take a snuffer and you can snuff it out and put it on pause. And that is what you would state that this candle is only on pause until I relight you again. Now I have here a circular candle plate that I got, I think at a dollar, I think at the Dollar Tree years, many years ago, or maybe Walmart, I'm not sure. It doesn't have to be red. You could use a big mirror, you could use a plate. Um, I would definitely buy plates that are inexpensive, such as at a thrift shop, and then use those specifically for your magical energy work. It can be white, doesn't have to be red, and it can be black. But it kind of gives it a designated space and keeps everything neat so you don't have it on the cloth. Now, copper is a very good conductor of electricity, so I always like to add copper at the base of my candles. If you have stones, a red stone would be very good. This is a bloodstone. And you could, of course, use a green stone. Green is what most people use to represent money. That's the color of the currency that we use. It's also the opposite color of red. I prefer red because red vibrates at the highest frequency. So it will be stronger and it can work faster. So I have it on this black background so that we are primarily working with red. Crystals are programmable, so I recommend you get a small crystal and hold it and program it for your intention. Now, prosperity can be $50, $100, it can be $1,000, it can be $5,000. I still consider that fast cash, but that can help you get a jump start on whatever it is you're trying to do as far as putting some cash aside so that you can maybe buy a business or a property or a mutual fund. You don't want to just get money to pay your bills because then you're broke all the time. You take a part of that and you make plans to, you make an agreement to make an installment to pay things off little by little like a hundred dollars a month or so and um, you can pay it off early but you know that's just the way to get started so that you're not literally just giving the shirt off your back and you have no shirt to wear <laughs> now after you've cleansed it you I, I would normally hold my candles and put my thought intention in them and then you could take a nail or you could take your atame if you have one and make a few holes in the top and there's where you could sprinkle some herbs or a couple of drops of oil now I do make a psychic enhancement oil which I think is just really really great for anything that you are doing so if I can't open it here with one hand I would put two drops one in each hole and then you could even put some on your fingers and just go around the candle you know and maybe touch the stones everything in the area the cloth and even your forehead your third eye so that you're connecting everything is connecting to your intention and you are empowering it we do not want to deplete our own energy that is not what this spirituality is about 
nature-based religion. It's not what it's about, giving your own energy. We draw from other elements of around us, the earth, the air, or a combination of things. Now, a direction that you might want to face is south. Right here, I'm facing west, but the colors of red really make an impression on me. So it would, you know, I've been doing this for years, so it generally works for me anyway. But when you're a beginner, I would definitely consider facing south for anything that has to do with your will. And if you are just learning to really release your will and encourage your will and not feel guilty about having a desire or a need. You know, some people feel like they have to drive around a jalopy that they're constantly having to repair when you could claim that you have enough money to go and pay cash for a better car. And it might be used, but it's not quite as old as the one you have right now. So what you would do is make a little petition and you would write, you could write your name, your birthday, where you live, and the amount of money that you want. And then you put it right at the base of the candle. Another thing that you could do that I would do if someone ordered for me is put their name with an arrow and the arrow pointing to what it is that they want whether it's an amount of money or if we just want to write down the representation of the thing of value that you're actually wanting which could be a particular car that you have your eyes on that's just a few thousand dollars more than what you're driving currently and you want the money to pay cash for it. So now, these are just a few ideas that I'm giving you right now that you can do to work diligently, daily. And when the money does, after the money comes, if you want money to continue to flow in your life, then you can get another candle and light that as well and set that as the intention. Cash continues to flow into my life. Uh, prosperity and abundance flows to me like a river. I am open to receive. Money is coming to me now. Prosperity and abundance comes to me now and every day and is increasing every week by 10%, come up with a dollar amount, so that we stay um, above our fear. We are dominating our fear and we are claiming what we need and claiming what we want. And this is how I began to work in the beginning. And then I was led to actually add planetary energies. So if you wanted to do that, I would recommend Mars. Draw the symbol of Mars on a piece of paper, put it at the base of the candle here. And no, there's no other planet that is more associated with victory than the planet Mars. I've worked with it many, many, many times. It will not only give you courage, strength, stamina, but can also give you the prosperity and the fast cash that you are looking for at the moment, state your dollar amount or the thing of value that you are looking to get, which might be a car that's for $5,000 and claim that you find a way to safely get it without going any further into debt. And if you do get extra money, then you can use part of that to start making installments to start paying down your debt. So, it, you know, it's sometimes a stone that we have to chip away little by little for a lot of us, I think, since the pandemic. So hopefully this will help you to gain insight and wisdom and how to not only get your money, but manage your money. So I would definitely state that 
you manage your money wisely when you get it. And if you want to hold on to it longer, then you can use the symbol of Taurus and ask for Taurus to help you gain more financial stability. All right, that's it for now. Take care and I will talk to you soon.